Hello, hello everybody, this is Tiptop MTG here today with another Magic the Gathering news video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at an upcoming banned and restricted announcement. Now, today, Wizards of the Coast announced a bunch of secret layers, and in one of them lies an Uro that has a pretty cool frame and new art. But there's kind of an issue with that. They are apparently planning on banning him in Pioneer, Modern, and Historic, as well as maybe in Legacy, meaning he will be banned out of basically everything. Now, why do we know this is happening? Well, because they don't want people buying these, expecting to put them in their Pioneer Modern, um, I guess Historic isn't a problem, or Legacy deck, and then having it be banned from under their feet. So in this little description of the product, they say, Note, we are planning an upcoming banned and restricted announcement. In that announcement, we, are pl we plan to ban Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, in Pioneer, Modern, and Historic. Additionally, we are continuing to discuss about doing the same in Legacy. We are still working internally on the larger Band Richard announcement for that week. We wanted to share this information ahead of this sale. So, here is kind of what this tells us. First off, they are planning a banned and restricted announcement in which Uro is going to get banned. So that's the very obvious, when we just look at the surface level, that's what they are saying. But we can actually take a little bit of extra information from this. Well, first, they're saying the larger banned and restricted announcement for that week, meaning Uro is not the only thing getting banned. Uh, it may be something, you know, from Standard or Historic, it, it could be a lot of different things, um, but something is getting banned. And uh, in addition, it could be also in other formats as well. And also, they say for that week, they are trying to be very vague on purpose. But you'll notice that if we can find the date of these releasing, that the announcement is not coming before these release, which is February 12th. So it's two days from now. So I guess that does kind of uh, do that, but we know the banned and restricted announcement is not coming within the next two days, because if it was, that statement would be somewhat unnecessary, as the banned announcement would come out before it's even possible to buy them. So it's sometime after the 12th, um, but I could also see it definitely being in the middle of the sale. So I think next Monday is probably a fair bet. Uh, and so either next Monday or the Monday after that, I could definitely see them banning it. Now they normally do ban and restrict announcements on Mondays, but that doesn't mean they always have to. Um, I think that this is really interesting. It's probably the first time that we've really seen them do this. I think in the past once with a challenger deck, which there's a little bit of news about those today, um, with those, they announced, like, they told their stores, like, oh, don't wait for release day for these, just as soon as you get them, sell them, and then shortly after the release date of the challenger decks, Fires of Invention was banned, which was one of the key cards in one of the decks, and so they didn't necessarily come out and say, hey, we're banning this, don't buy the product, because they had already had it printed, versus this is a print-to-demand product, where if, you know, it sells less, they can avoid a a big headache by telling everyone ahead of time. So I think it's definitely very interesting that they're telling us, and I think it's definitely a really, really good thing. I mean, uh, it also kind of gives us a little bit of information on the fact that Kroxa is probably not being banned out of something, or Inferno Titan or Grave Titan or any card here is pretty much safe from banning, because otherwise they would have done a very similar mention of it. So yeah, I think that this is really interesting. I think it's a good uh, move. Yes, they could have made more money off of this product if they wouldn't have said that because there are going to be those players that play Pioneer, Modern, Historic, or Legacy that want these cards. Um, but unfortunately, you know, if, if they did go through with that, they would have had a lot of negative PR. And I think this was a really, really good move for them. They also seem to have lowered the price of the secret layer uh, in order to... Uh, you know, comparing it to the one that's exactly the same thing, but slightly different cards, uh, they seem to have lowered the price to account for that. So yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. What else do you think is going to get banned? Um, I personally think the rogues, the rogues in standard are probably going to get banned. I also want to know when you guys think this announcement is coming around. Uh, I just thought I'd make a video on this because I'm sure a lot of people don't care about secret layers and they probably didn't watch that video. And so I didn't want you to stay to be out of the loop um, in regards to this upcoming ban. It also means that because this isn't an abandoned restricted announcement, if you're holding these cards in paper, you may want to sell them if you're not planning on using him outside of these three formats. Um, so... Yeah, uh, especially because, you know, not every person is going to be reading through this article. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed, again, hit like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.